All right, just wrapped up a really, really good back workout. Felt really good today. Uh, switched it up a lot, did some variations, uh, hit some muscles in the back uh, that I haven't hit in a while with some really nice variations. So a really good day, feeling good. Uh, I know I sound a little bit redundant in that, but the reality is, is I feel great. I'm recovering great. Today is day 115 of no days off, so uh, it was a great back day. Uh, so with that, I am going to go into some questions and comments that came in on yesterday's video, which was day 114, a shoulder and tricep workout. And I also went and did a mini gym tour and then hit some questions and comments after. So I'm going to jump into the questions and comments that came in on that video yesterday. So let's start with the first one here coming in 56 minutes ago from Outlaw Josie Wales. Uh, says 5 a.m. here and headed to hit shoulders. Uh, going to try those overhead one-arm barbell presses too. Thanks for that. Let's go. Outlaw Josie Wales, shout out to you. I hope you're actually smashing it literally right now. Uh, let me know how those um, overhead uh, one-arm uh, barbell uh, presses did today. Very curious. I love that movement. Uh, I use a landmine. I put a barbell in the landmine and then, of course, uh, put a plate uh, or plates on the end. And then I do a kind of a one-arm press uh, you know, with the with the barbell. It's a great movement. It was a great shoulder day yesterday. Uh, so really appreciate the comment. And like I said, I hope you're literally smashing it right now. Uh, got another one in here from Justin uh, HSV17. Justin, what's going on, bro? Damn impressive gym and training style as well. Keep it going. Shout out to you, Justin, for that. Uh, I think this is maybe one of the first comments I've seen on the channel. Uh, sorry if I've missed the other ones in the past, but either way, appreciate the comment and shout out to you for that. Got another one here from Daniel Andrus 2637 Dan, what's going on, bro? Thanks again for the comment on the channel. Says, I just want to add a comment because people should see your videos. I love, I love the workouts and I've never seen someone so willing to share advice and invest his time in the commentary like you. Dan, absolutely shout out to you for that. Appreciate that. Uh, I just love this. I love it. I have a true passion for this. It's a part of who I am. Uh, and I figure, you know, why not have the respect of people asking questions, having comment, comments uh, to give back and, and show my respect to everybody. So uh, I just love to do it. But I appreciate that comment. Truly do. Uh, got another one here from Barry, Barry Able Guy 5 Hey, man, quick question. In time, I'm wondering... What are your dreams that will be coming from this? Do you hope maybe to open a gym one day, etc.? Love the hard work and dedication. You're a real man, brother. Shout out to that. Shout out to you, Barry. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really, there's no specific dream. Um, you know, whenever it, whenever it comes to training or, you know, anything that involves training, um, there's, never, there's never a dream. You know, I'm, I'm, every time I'm down here, and I don't want to sound please guys don't take this. I don't want to sound cliche. Um, I really don't. It's almost like every other day you hear that I'm living the dream type comment and, and I don't think people really mean it. But either way, I am literally living the dream. You know, I have a beautiful gym. I have a beautiful family. Um, you know, I, I, I get to do what I love to do every day, literally day 115 today. Um, so really, you know, I am living the dream. I, I, I have a wonderful, a wonderful life a beautiful girlfriend, beautiful kids, um, just just an amazing life, and I, I am just grateful for everything. So, um, again, I am living this dream. Um, some other subsets to that of what I'd like to get out of this is, number one, I'm challenging myself. Um, it's definitely something, uh, a challenge, and pushing myself, and, and it's just something I love to do is, is keep myself challenged and keep myself, uh, keep myself on my toes when it comes to training, always trying something different. Outside of that, I'm also really trying, like I said, this channel is not about promoting or advertising or marketing. As I said before, I am not promoting no days off. That is not what I'm trying to do. What this channel is all about, yes, it's bringing back that hardcore, old school you know, style of training, which is literally gone. If you go on social media, I mean, it is, it is laughable, it's pathetic. Um, it's just unbelievable uh, what, what people, what they call training, um, you know, in order to either promote something or advertise or market or sell something uh, to the general pop population that just literally knows nothing about it. Um, and it's really sad, to be honest. So number one, I want to bring back that old school, bring the basics back, straight to the point, get down here, smash it, kill it, and just, and just love what you do, right? And bring that old school, hardcore, um, you know, that passion, that 
that style, the foundation, the basics, the free weights, the iron, the, the, just the just the old school vibe, and, and that's one of the main points of the channel. The other side of that is, um, you know, the no days off is philosophically trying to show people that like don't don't do what everybody's doing. Don't rest because people tell you to rest. And I don't mean that from a standpoint, like if you need rest, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a supporter of rest. I get that, I, I definitely am. I mean it philosophically. Don't rest because everybody rests. Don't eat the way Roddy Coleman eats. Don't take rest days because you that's what Dorian Yates did. Don't do what everybody else is doing. Don't live your training through someone else's shoes. Be you, create your own style, create what works for you. This no days off, is showing that there's anything's possible when you create your own style, when you understand your body and you understand what you want to do with this. And if it's truly a part of what you do and who you are, and it's a part of your everyday, like it's just who you are, you'll create the time, you'll create the passion, you'll create your own style that works best for you. Don't follow everybody else. No days off is a way to show that, no, I, there's, why, why should I rest because someone tells me to rest? Why should, I, why should I eat 10 meals a day because Ronnie Coleman ate 10 meals a day, right? Again, another point of this and the overall goal, going back to the comment of what's happening right now, is showing everybody that if you create your own style, if you are true to who you are and understand who you are both physically and mentally, you can do whatever you think works best for you, regardless of what everybody's telling you, regardless of what social media is selling you, regardless. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. Um, I'm going to hold it there because I'll get on a ramp and I want to get to some more of these questions and comment, but I hope I, do, I, I answered that. It's a great question um, and I, hopefully I, I answered it well. So appreciate the comment slash question on that. Got another one here from Tattoo Bodybuilder. I think Big Frank McGrath. Would love that gym, bro. Uh, shout out to Frank McGrath. Shout out to uh, Tattoo Bodybuilder for that comment. Um, yeah, Frank McGrath's an old school. Uh, I, I've seen a few of his things here and there. I think he represents the old school pretty well. Um, I don't know too much about him, but uh, either way, shout out to that comment. Got another one here from Peter Miller, 1565. Uh, wow, this was one of the hard, most hardcore shoulder workouts I've seen. Truth be told, I think I got rotator cuff tendonitis just watching the insane amount of shoulder pressing. Uh, you appeared to go to failure or close to it on every set. What can I say? I love the channel, bro. Let's let's keep it going. No quit ever. Peter Miller, once again, as always, shout out to you. Appreciate the comment. Love it. Um, yeah, a lot of pressing yesterday. Uh, you know, and so here I'm gonna go in. I, I, I'm going to go into a little bit of the training philosophy side of things, and I've touched a little bit upon this a, a little bit. So when we talk about recovery, um, uh, yesterday uh, and the day before was strategically planned, okay? So again, going from a trap delt workout into a shoulder pressing workout was a perfect formation of having recovery and then hitting it hard with pressing. So I did some pulling with trap work, right? Did some pulling, so I did shrugs, I did some dumbbell shrugs, and then I hit the delts. All the delts, pretty much, if I'm thinking back now, there was no pressing in those delt movements. It was all delt movements that had no pressing, right? So the recovery there was getting the delts prepped and ready, the traps were are what they are, but the delts were getting prepped and ready for some pressing movement. And I went into some shoulder pressing. So a perfect example of how to rotate certain lifts to enhance your recovery and or as we call them recovery workouts to some degree to help with again, like for me, what works best for me is come some kind of like delt movement, you know, some pulling movement and then going into a pressing day. And that was important. I'll also do, you know, a delt day, uh, maybe traps or you know some other kind of delt movements um, when I'm going into like a chest day where there's going to be a lot of pressing and a lot of stuff going on up top. So again, that's another way to kind of strategically plan out certain things. So when we talk about no days off uh, and we talk about recovery, you know, for me, 
Um, those, those days where I'm doing like that delt work and getting ready for a pressing day or you know maybe I'm subconsciously doing delt work and then the next day it's like oh well I'm ready to press now because my shoulders everything feels great my delts got some nice nice work there was a lot of blood in there a lot of nutrients filled up in there so again uh, ready to rock and roll with some pressing movement so a little breakdown on that um, but overall Peter Miller appreciate the uh, the comments on the channel always truly appreciated another one here from Samuel Sam 2711 uh, thanks, thanks a lot, brother. Your workout style giving lots of energy to me. Shout out to you for that. I uh, hope you're still smashing it and killing it. Appreciate the comment. Appreciate all your comments on the channel. Uh, got another one here from Bofay5755. Damn, I was looking forward to the refeed day video. If you're ever in Texas, there's a box of apple pies waiting for you, bro. <laughs> but lo love it. Yeah, I, I deleted the content like literally at the end of the day. Uh, when getting ready to do some editing and whatnot, and I ended up deleting, uh, you know, a great day of refeed. It was a great day. Uh, I apologize for uh, deleting the content, but shout out to that, and shout out to the apple pies baker treat style. So, uh, shout out to that. Got another one here from Caleb Smith four four two seven. This is my dream. This is my dream gym. Uh, to be honest, hey, listen, love it. Love all the comments. Uh, as I always say, I could not be more grateful. Uh, for having this gym. I could not be more grateful for the mindset in which helped me capture at a moment in time when I purchased that gym to have that, to have that, uh, uh, that go ahead feel of like, I got like, I got to get it right. Uh, I'm literally uh, at a point in my life where I'm, you know, I barely have any money, you know, I'm, I'm you know, working obviously, but uh, again, it was getting ready. I was in high school, getting ready to go to college. And of course, um, you know, obviously finances when going to college are what they are. Uh, emptied my bank account out, which wasn't a lot of money, and I purchased this stuff. So I got extremely, I, I, I'm not even going to say I got extremely lucky. Uh, the mindset, I'm thankful for the mindset that was, was there at such a young age <laughs> to, to, snap, to snag this stuff up and, and have it. So uh, shout out to that, and maybe someday uh, you'll have that gym, bro. So keep pushing for it. Uh, another one here from... Fossil M89, lovely gym, every old school gym man's dream. If I only had room, a spare, if I only had a room spare to create a gym like this, maybe one day for now I'll continue training at my local, local old school gym. Hey, keep training. Regardless of the gym at home or what you create, keep training, keep doing what you're doing. And if you're training the old school style, the hardcore style, uh, the gym environment is absolutely great, but either way, keep going to the gym, keep doing what you're doing, uh, and someday, uh, hopefully, you, you can uh, accomplish that. Um, another one here from uh, T. Uh, Genderance. T. Genderance, uh, recommend training split and diet tips for a beginning lifting lo lifter looking to bulk, currently 6'6", 195, 200 pounds, love the channel, keep it up. Um, so what I don't like to give out too much like specific advice. Like I said, I, I'm really pushing for you to create your own style. You got to live and learn from experience. Got to put your time in. Got to do the things in the gym, the basics, learn, listen, and again, just kind of work things out for yourself. Uh, but as far as kind of like uh, training splits and, and diets, I mean, go back to the old school basic training splits. Um, you know, you have your, your, your chest workout, your shoulder workout, uh, you have your leg workout, you have your arms, and you have your back. Again, there's a pretty simple five-day basic split. Arms, chest, back, legs, shoulders. I mean, it's that simple. Break it down. You know, if you're a beginner, I would start anywhere in the three-set, maybe four-set range. Keep your rep range in a decent area where you feel comfortable so you can start learning the body and what, what it's capable of doing uh, and slowly progress through that. So again, a pretty basic five-day split, hitting the chest, the arms, the shoulders, the legs, and the back is pretty simple and a lot of basic moves, uh, movements. I suggest using free weights, use the barbells, use the dumbbells, and make sure you're, you're really kind of hitting those foundational lifts. When we talk about finding foundational lifts, we're talking back, we're talking dumbbell rows, barbell rows, and then some cable work, foundational lifts for the legs. You got your squat, your deadlift, your leg extension, leg curls, foundational lifts 
for your arms. You have your bicep curls, both dumbbell and barbell. You have, you know, your preacher curls. Uh, you have, you know, many different curls. Probably stick to just those three and to start would be great. Um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, your, your chest, you have bench. You have dumbbell bench, you have incline bench, you have incline dumbbell bench, you have pec deck, you have flies, you know, I have a lot of foundational uh, movements in that as well. Um, but again, just keep things simple. Don't overcomplicate it. One of the philosophies of the old school method, barbells, free weights, dumbbells, keep things simple. Don't overcomplicate it with all this, this madness of, you know, angles and machines and all of that. You know, you, you don't need any of that. You don't need it. Maybe a point in time when you get to that level where you want to really start tweaking specific areas or you want to really enhance certain parts that may be weaker than others, you know, maybe then get into that type of uh, style of training. But again, the basics, there's nothing better than the basics. Foundational movements, foundational splits, break it down, you know, a couple sets here and there for, for each of the muscle groups, work yourself up, start learning your body, understand what you're capable of, and start progressing through. Um, again, don't worry about changing things up. You know, keep your rep range and things pretty consistent for a period of time uh, until you get a point of where now it's like, okay, let me start thinking some more. Again, I promise you, once you understand your body and learn, you know, learn what you can do and what you're capable of doing, I can promise you, number one, the brain, once in tune, once in tune with that kind of that mind-muscle connection, the mind-muscle connection is not just about during the set. The mind-muscle connection is, is, to me, is also about the body subconsciously creating different styles on its own, becoming creative on its own to hit certain areas. You learn that. It's almost like a, like a, like a second nature subconscious thing. It's like, you know, a, a, over time you start to adapt. You start moving the incline bench up and down a little bit. You start you know, changing the grips on your, uh, on your bench. You start doing little things. You start, you know, you figure, well, close stance, swap, a little bit wider. You put a plate on your heels, adds a little bit of an angle, hits more of the quad. You know, you got just so many things will start coming second nature to you once you start understanding what your body's capable of doing. So keep it simple, foundational lifts, basic old school barbell and dumbbells and start building a foundation and start from there. So shout out to that, little long winded, sorry about that, but I thought it meant, I thought it uh, definitely uh, needed a type, that type of response. But either way, shout out to the question and comment on the channel. Uh, another one here from Rycation TV. Uh, ever have a bug crawl on, on you while you're lifting down there? There's tons of spiders down here, tons, yeah. What I'll do is I'll, uh, it, when you, a lot of the uh, bigger dumbbells that are on the on the floor, you know, I'll pull them out and then I'll kind of slam them a couple times and knock off whatever's on there. But there's a lot of there's a lot of spiders, uh, and then I get some slugs down here. Um, you know what else? Uh, there's a few other insects that get down here, uh, but again, spiders for sure. A lot of spiders. None have fallen on me yet, though. Shout out to that. Um, another one here from Sandra. Uh, Rodrigo, uh, 2361, I'm from Brazil and I'm following your top video. Shout out to that, shout out to you for uh, joining the fam. Welcome to the channel, appreciate that. Got another one here from Nye, nothing but huge respect. Nye, nothing but huge respect back to you bro. Can't, can't thank you enough for all the comments on the channel, all the feedback, the questions. There's a few questions you've asked I have not forgotten about. I will definitely plan on hitting those at some point. I have not forgot about uh, a couple of your questions that I definitely want to talk about. So shout out to you for that. Uh, got another one here from Run Dat Back Productions. Your gym setup and best in beast mode workout makes makes you the shit without the donkey. <laughs> Keep going, brother. Um, shout, shout out, shout out. Uh, no comment. Appreciate it. Another one here from Dave Kinderdine. Dave, what's going on? Uh, been doing this shit for 47 years and never saw the inward dumbbell extension. Uh, epic stuff, brother. Uh, yeah, I believe that was the Tate Press. Um, Dave Tate, Elite, uh, Elite Fitness. Um, I don't even think Dave Tate takes ownership of it. I don't think he really cares. Either way, it's a Tate Press, uh, and it's basically taking two dumbbells uh, and inward, and, and it's, it's a pressing. It's an extension slash pressing movement. So you, you know you come down somewhat in an extension, but you want to you want to press with the try. So it's somewhat of a, a, a little bit of both worlds with that. Uh, I love the movement. It was a big, big, big part of my 
powerlifting routine. Um, you know, I believe obviously Dave Tate having a long history in the West Side and powerlifting. Um, again, it's a huge strength, uh, tricep strength builder. Uh, but I, you know, I, I really like that movement. And it's a good variation, it's a good switch up to hit the tries a little bit differently, uh, get some pressing power, some extension power in there as well. Uh, but again, I love the movement, shout out to that. Uh, shout out to you Dave for that. Uh, another one here from Dave uh, Kinderline again. Uh, the angle of the load on the one arm seated Viking press is very interesting. Repping West Side, that's as old school and hardcore as you can get. Shout out to that, you know it, absolutely it is. Uh, got another one here from uh, Total Noob Fishing, 1753. Big Daddy repping the sweet West Side shirt. Yeah, buddy, bench squat combo rack is insane. Thanks for the tour. Shout out to you, absolutely, you are welcome. Uh, definitely we'll do some more tours uh, in, the, in the future. If you saw the video yesterday, I have several more pieces of equipment that I got to get down here um, that are really, really awesome pieces. Um, and so eventually at some point, uh, once I get that stuff down here, maybe we'll hit another, uh, another gym tour once I get that stuff down here. Uh, another one here from Jive. Uh, keep going, big man. Absolutely will. Shout out to that. Uh, you got to be a freak. Uh, my strategy is when I when it starts to burn, the set has started. Then I count 12 more reps. Uh, then I count 12 reps. Shout out to that. I love it. Uh, keep that going. Listen, perfect example. You got to be a freak. Creating your own style, right? That's what I'm talking about right there. Creating your own style. You came up with that. No one else did. You came up with that. That's you. I love it. That's awesome. That is awesome. Shout out to that. Another one here from Vince Capari. Uh, one, dude, I went 23 days on. I'm wasted, tired, spent, worn down, but I feel great. Not bad for 57. Thank you for the needed motivation. I did take two days off. Back at it. When you want to cheat on your diet, eat iron. 57 years old. 23 days on. Straight, straight through. I love it. Good for you. Um, uh, keep hey now now you now you have the opportunity to learn from that experience, have an understanding of where you're at. Obviously, you have an understanding of how your body feels and how you feel, but you accomplish something. And at the same time, what look how much you learned in 23 days. Look how much you learned. Now you get to adapt to that and create something new, which is the whole part of all of this. So that again, that is awesome. Absolutely. Now you get to create another. Another venture, another another style, another way of doing things because you did that for 23 days. You did something that nobody else or very few people or very pe or people unlike you are doing. You did it for 23 days straight. Look what you've learned. Absolutely incredible. Love it. Shout out to that. Another one from uh, Stug3. Your gym is Metroflex 2.0. <laughs> love it. I absolutely love it. Metroflex, uh, legendary. Of course, Metroflex is a legendary. I uh, love it. Appreciate the comment. Uh, another one here from Barrett's Privateer, 7162. Love the gym. So far, mine is a power rack bench and a couple other things. Mike, listen, that is awesome. As I said, there's not much you need. A home gym can be pretty simple. Pretty simple. Get yourself some plates, a couple bars, some dumbbells, a rack, a bench, and it's, and it's go time. So keep keep doing what you're doing. Keep building it. Um, I love it. Love it. Another one here from Rock Rockanana. Perfect gym. Shout out to you that for that. Appreciate that comment. Uh, Alan uh, Dolanek, uh, 3264. Gym is great. Alan, appreciate all your comments on the channel. Uh, huge shout out for you, to you for sure. Appreciate that. Uh, got another one here from Dino1. 001, love the hardcore training, bud. Feels good knowing there are still old school dogs out there. Absolutely, if you heard what I said when I started this video, um, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad if you're, if you're, if you're recognizing that, then you're one of the old dogs too. So, um, you know, we need to, we need to keep this alive. It's gotten crazy. It's just gotten crazy. We like the, the true passion of old school hardcore training is just fading. It's it's getting crazy. It's getting absolutely crazy. So anyway, I, I, I don't want to get on a rant. Uh, either way, shout out to that comment. Another one here from uh, Hi Drano. Uh, truly a beast. People with home gyms always amaze. I love, I love it. Absolutely. Um, all I'm going to say is that having a home gym, whether it's in the basement, a spare room, a garage, uh, and at, wherever you have it, um, there is another set of 
of, uh, there's another switch that's got to get turned on, another set of motivation. Um, and I say that very simply is, you know, you're at home, right? You're at home where things are supposed to be, um, you know, you're, 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 uh, you're hunkering down, you're, it's downtime, it's, it's time to relax, you know, uh, food, TV, family, um, you know, so again, there's a, when you get home or you're home and then you got to go train and it's right downstairs, um, trust me, there's a lot of procrastinating that can happen in that process. So there's another switch. You know, I've always, whenever I've had, I've had, you know, home gym for a long time, um, one thing I try to do the best way possible is I try to separate the home gym as much as possible from, you know, for me, the upstairs. You know, like I try to cut off as much as I can um, to, to really make me feel that I'm separated, but not. If that makes sense, um, to me it does mentally. I try to separate as much as possible, almost in a sense like even though I'm walking downstairs, like I'm actually going to the gym, um, there's a mindset there because, as I said, being at home, you're home. So there's another level of motivation you need in order to, to, to kick it up a notch to get down there and do it. Um, so shout out to that. Appreciate that comment. Um, got another one here from uh, Weez, Weezney. Nai Naz Yokoni. I know I've spelt it out before. I hope I didn't butcher it trying to say it. Uh, but shout out to you. Sorry if I butchered the handle. Uh, just says no days off. Uh, 114. The world has ended. There's nothing left, but I still train in my dungeon. You know it. Absolutely love all those comments. Uh, and that comment got 12 likes. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, appreciate it. And then, of course, we're going to end here with Matthew Strength with his emojis. Matthew Strength, shout out to you as always for the emojis, the comments on the channel. Love it. So with that, we're going to wrap this up and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next lift.